Hi everyone, Tommy J here and welcome to Take 2, a game in 2 minutes. Today I'm here to show you Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, a first person shooter developed by Sledgehammer Games. So in a series that often struggles to innovate, what makes this most recent title unique? The answer is the exosuit, a bionic exoskeleton of sorts that gives the user certain boosts and abilities. This means in general, this version of Call of Duty is quicker paced, since the suit lets you dash in almost any direction, even while in the air, as well as letting you double jump. Like many Call of Duty games, this game has three modes, the single player campaign, multiplayer, and then a survival mode, which in this case is called exo survival. In the campaign, you play as a soldier equipped with one of these exosuits, who's part of a highly trained unit that don the same gear. To Together, you're a special task force of sorts who perform high-risk missions using some really cool high-tech equipment, such as a mute charge, a device that prevents any sound from being heard within a certain radius. All of the gadgets really do add to the gameplay and make things really enjoyable. They also make it a little more plausible that one squad could actually take on an entire army. So next up, multiplayer. Thankfully, when it comes to creator class, Advanced Warfare took a note from Black Ops 2's book. It uses a point-based system where any one thing costs one point, be it a perk, weapon, wildcard, weapon attachment, or even a score streak. Streaks also had another interesting change and it's that you can add an extra effect to the streak, but it costs more points to attain during a game. For example, you can make the UAV require 200 more score, but while it's activated, it also jams the enemy map. Another nice change is the addition of the EXO ability, a choice between various abilities that gives things such as speed boosts, cloaking, improved health regen, silencing your footsteps, or letting you hover in midair. Also, in multiplayer, there are random loot bags that can drop, giving you either items to customize your character's look or weapons that can have unusual stats. Exo Survival is a game mode where you and up to three others may fight for your life in a wave-based game type. You start by selecting a class, light, heavy, or specialist, which gives you access to different weapons and have different abilities. Enemies spawn in increasing difficulty, starting out with just unarmored grunts, but quickly progressing to drones, guard dogs, and suits of armor. After each round, you receive currency, which you can spend purchasing new weapons or upgrading your weapons and exosuit. In general, Advanced Warfare's gameplay feels quite fluid. Guns handled nicely and the new movement really does add something extra to the game. However, there is one negative, and it's that at this stage at least, there are no dedicated servers, meaning multiplayer is a bit laggy. So, normally I wouldn't talk about the options menu in this series, but it is really good, containing a field of view slider as well as 20 plus other video options, which for a multi-platform release is generally unheard of. And also, the game has Kevin Spacey. Remember, if you want to check out the extended video on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, click the annotation or the link in the description to head over to my longer, more in-depth series, I Show You Games. Thanks for watching, this has been Tommy J. Have a good one.